Hello everyone. Welcome to another juiced mini video. Um, it's a bit of cold weather out here this week and this is three videos in one week. You, you know, you're so lucky. You're so lucky because I could just easily sit indoors and watch telly do nothing but no I'm down here again today um see uh Sean C's video uh, a couple of days ago of all the snow he's got um I'd like to just uh open the doors there and show you what we're up against uh I think you'll be quite jealous Sean I mean I'm I'm gonna need to get my show snow shovel out so right I'm gonna uh pick the camera up now and show you what we got what we're up against so let me just flip right. it around. Yeah, you check this out. Just uh, fling my doors open. The snow is so bad, I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to get my pickup truck out. Hold on, let me just unlock these doors. Oh, another key. Come on, door. Wait for this, wait. Oh, the brim. Oh, oh well. I better be careful. It's, uh, it's treacherous out here. Be good if it was flooded now, though, wouldn't it? Eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, snow. We've had nothing. Absolutely nothing. I think we had a uh, day last week where <coughs> it was a little bit dicey. It was on the 27th, I went over to Brighton to see my mum and uh, had quite a bit of fun sliding around in the car. But uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing. It's great. So. Let's get this truck out of the garage and crack on with the Mini. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Right, here we are back inside the car again. Um, as you can see, that's what I did yesterday. It's the old uh, Ram mounts on the rear seat there. Now, today, what I'm planning to do, oh, let's get a little bit closer. It's like kneeling on a mini floor is not great. Um, I want to put some bracing between like the top of here all the way across to the other side and possibly the same on the bottom as well, just to stop anything moving sort of side to side. I mean, I think the, uh, <clears throat> I think it shouldn't move too much anyway, but even so, if I can get them, uh, them bits braced up and obviously I've got this hump to sort of come across so the rest of the seat back is pretty flat until you get to this point here and then it starts to raise forward so what I plan to do is sort of measure up between there and I'm actually going to put I'm actually going to cut that section out and then sink the bar into it I think I've got some two by one box section I'm going to do that with it doesn't really need to be that strong to be quite honest but the plan is um, uh, I should be able to mount the, the actual pumps off of the back of that as well. So if I can get uh, if I can get that bracing across there, where it goes through there should be roughly where the uh, well it should be sort of over here and over there should be where the pump mounting points are. So I just need to sort of take a little slice out of there as well, and then run another piece of two by one box off of there to mount the pumps on. Um, and maybe the same with the bottom bar as well. I mean, that's what I'm hoping anyway. So it'll sort of uh, save a bit of time in the in the future to try and get them mounted up. But so far, so good. Anyway, there's a, there's a lot of mess in here on the floor. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is going to get the brush out and have a bit of sweep up in here so I don't keep kneeling on nuts and bolts and stuff like that. Um, and then I've got to repair that companion bin section, which is all sort of bent around there. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm going to clean up first and then we'll get the uh, the box section out and the tape measure and hopefully get some more stitched in. See you in a moment. Well, it doesn't look so much better. Less damage on the old knees now, so I've just cleaned all that up with my analog hoover. There it is. Keeping it old school. Yeah. Okay then, let's get some uh, metal out and start thinking about making these bits. Right, that's that bit firstly in place. I've cut a slit in there. So that sinks into there okay. 
Um, right, let's get it welded in. Well, as soon as this bit's got me thinking, I think that top piece has gone in exactly the right place I need to be able to mount the pump to that. So, this is what I'm doing now. Just made the pump mounting brackets and hopefully, just gonna tack this bar along the top here. That should, uh, that should keep everything in place and all the bolt holes in the right place for when I weld it to the car. Um, so looking at that, I reckon that is gonna be my next step. Get these uh, two pieces, these two uh, mounts welded to that bar. This could be fun. Should be nice and simple, I think. Um, but just having a quick measure up. Um, oh, you can't see nothing now, can you? <laughs> right, there we go. Ah, so, I think they're gonna come just there and just there. So, gonna need to make uh, make another couple of little incisions in the uh, seat back there. Also, I'm planning on seam welding across there as well. Make it nice and strong and, you know, keep things together nicely, wouldn't it? Right then, let's see if I can get this pump mounted in. That's uh, getting pretty exciting now. Well, for me it is. <laughs> right, let's there do this. There we go, first mock-up. That rack's literally just tapped in place at the moment enough to hold that pump up. So, that's where that's gonna go. My next biggest challenge is uh, to get a fuel tank in there. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? Then again, I do have a little idea for that, but stick with it. Right, I'm gonna try and do something with the, uh, the pump for the bottom now. See if I can get that in. Right, back in the car again. Um, just uh, gonna put this second beam in now. See, that's gonna sit right down the bottom there. And that is also gonna mount the bottom two pumps. So I'll just get this cut in and I'll show you where I'm at then. I'm liking that, I'm liking that a lot. Really makes me happy to get make so much progress just in one short little day, just to get them bolted in. Look at that, this, uh, this little bar here, that's got to come off. So I'm just gonna fill in the ends of this, cap them off. Yeah, I'm so pleased. Let me just show you the inside. There you go, the two support beams, all welded in. I've literally just got to weld the seat back back onto those to make it all sort of well airtight so it is actually a firewall there you go then thank you for watching oh i've got a dirty nose and i mm. right see you tomorrow well no it won't be tomorrow now will it friday so probably be back down here monday maybe tuesday just gonna tidy up now pack it in for the day thanks for watching Stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>